notice anything the MAGA Republicans don't like, they call fake. <laughs> How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. <laughs> Just boom. How's it? It's uh, uh, October 5th. Is it October Fest? I just said October 5th and it reminded me of October Fest. It's Saturday. And um, yeah, so things should be moving along all smoothly. It's just October 5th. But my mom is in, uh, has her birthday this month. So <sighs> my brother from Texas is coming over. My sister, eldest sister from Oregon is coming over and the house is going to be a buzz. And my mom's going to have a birthday party on October 13th. It's going to be 93. Oh my gosh. You know, she's originally, you know, her birthday, October 13th, back in the day, was on Friday the 13th. <laughs> My mom's born on Friday the 13th in the Halloween month. Oh my gosh. I asked her about it. She says, oh no, 13th is my lucky number. Yeah, tell that to the Knights Templar. <laughs> okay, ghost box going off. There's different stuff going on too. Um, I just heard of a friend of mine, the one with the dragon in the backyard picking the fireballs. <laughs> He has to move some furniture out into the yard because he's having some stuff. So I have to go over and help him at some point in time. So it'll be a big thing. Michael, who is back from Africa, has to go to the film festival thing. A uh, film festival. Film school. Second semester. Which is screenwriting. That's the soon. So, like... People leaving, people arriving, do do do, I'm up there with the tablecloth, I'm my mom, this is do 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 do. So, if this is erratic, Arthur. Arthur, it should go. Do not. Okay. Are you a friend? Take note. Purgatory. And the ghost box is getting in on the picture, ending with purgatory. Okay, so here's here's that's the vlog. Here's the news. Uh, I gotta point out one thing. This, these campaign shenanigans are just a little bit like freaky to me. I, you know, I took a lot of political science, so this sort of stuff sticks out. I, 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 I'm concerned about what, the, what they're gonna do. Seeing these little things, I'm just like, do you see these two? So, um, the you know, the politicians go to these places and they make an appearance, photo op type style. And the latest one is the giant. Um, Katrina 2.0, that Helene hurricane, and all the damage. Yes. It's like over 200 people, man. It's, it's bad. It's gone over like several states, right? And so it's all this flood damage stuff, right? So they're going to visit the sites. So he knows Biden is going to these places, and he doesn't want this to, you know, he doesn't want to be, uh, he doesn't want to be the apprentice. <laughs> so Trump jumps on it too so trump's in the disaster zone talking to the people who survived helene this is what he does he's like he's constantly over several times he keeps saying i'm not here for the campaigning i'm not here for the because he's taking questions from people i'm not here for the campaign i'm not here for the for the politics i'm not here for the you know uh this and that I'm just here to talk about the people here. And about as many times as he said that, which is, uh, yeah, you're bringing it up so it's in people's minds already because I'm not here for the campaign. Yeah, you are here for the campaign. You're here and you're saying you're not here for the campaign. And so several times, as many times as he said that, for sure, 
he starts talking about stuff he's gonna do when he's president and how bad they're on about the immigrants, you know, the immigrants and the economy. Those are big ones, right? He's ragging on those ones. And so it's like, oh. so he does that with this location with the Helene disaster. Now he's gonna go to another location. And that location is Butler, Pennsylvania. That's where he's got the near miss with the ear piercing. Butler, Pennsylvania. So he's gonna go there. Of course, it has nothing to do with the <laughs> near miss. He's gonna go there. We're showcasing how much extra security there is. Extra security, jump so important. And, oh, and I'm sure he's not gonna mention his little iconic. A uh, photo now. He's standing up with the flag behind him, with his little fist in the air. Fight, fight, fight! A veteran, a veteran. I think of Vietnam. A veteran uh, awarded Trump his Purple Heart. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? This is just. That's just. So there's a lot of flack from that because people who. I mean, Trump draft dodged. I got broken spurs. Now he's got a Purple Heart from a some guy that just took a pot shot now he's in that gonna be in that place going i don't know it must be because you know that tagline when he didn't get killed it it was a uh, god saved him god moved the bullet and god has uh, uh, a purpose for trump there's a reason why he didn't get killed yeah because it fulfills the 666 story in revelations oh, <laughs> but he comes back and he's still alive <laughs> anyway, that's okay. Enough. It's only Saturday. It's only Saturday. Can you believe all this stuff? So Hawaii's got news too. Let's see what it is. Hawaii news. Okay. Uh, the HPD are going to shut down these things called illegal game rooms. They. Uh, I was on a, a a jury for a murder trial jury because of one of these illegal game rooms. They went in there shooting. It's like uh, a den of drug money and all this kind of stuff and and there's illegal gambling they have these little video games that they gamble with and they're shutting them down well gee about time they should they're illegal <laughs> shut them down they're illegal Inouye returns from deployment so Inouye um who the senator who died so i guess he's a zombie no it's Inouye, uh, you know, it's like a battleship or i don't know what it is uss it's a destroyer i can't hear you uh, okay, I'll talk louder next time. Drop, drop, USS drop, Annoy drop. is just is they're coming back with the destroyer Annoy. This is Annoy. It's a destroyer. Oops. Oh. Okay. Oh gosh. Do we need to know these? <laughs> I shouldn't ask that. So how do I get over there? I'm stuck without my little tabs. This is terrible. There they are. Refresh. Okay. In um sports. Um, if this is sports. Covered. Um, I don't even know. Oh, okay. Here's sports. The Rainbow Warriors are playing San Diego State Aztecs today. I hope they win. <laughs> so uh, I think they got an extra quarterback or something like that. And uh, I don't know, Shager got whoop, whoop, injured last time. Oregon is unbeaten. Yay. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm about a little uh, back in the day. Remember back in the day when it was like 1974 and you wanted to relax? You just go out there and ride around with your sunshade uh, <laughs> surfboard rack. It's <laughs> a pretty nice uh, Aloha shirt there, huh? You got the surfboards on that. <laughs> That's kind of cool, but how you ride your bike with that on there? Okay, time for finger in the pulse. Oh, what do we got here? A political cartoon. Oh, look, it's uh, Shady with his Shady Vance. He's got a Pinocchio nose, too. Yeah, but Trump's Pinocchio nose is a whole tree. <laughs> oh, the apprentice of Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, word of the day <laughs> from Japan. Bless. Bless. Um, huh? Oh, what are we going to do? Take this. Head right here. Oh, here we go. Mainland aware of anti-tourism sentiment. I recently moved to Las Vegas from Maui. As I established a new local relationships, I often heard the kind-hearted words 
Welcome you to don't Las understand. You don't understand. Those are kind of words you don't understand. Welcome to Las Vegas. I imagine my shock when I told my hairstylist that I had just moved from Maui. She said, doesn't Hawaii hate tourists? I was stunned that Hawaii's mixed messaging and declining aloha spirit had reached a mainland barber chair. Hawaii's economic engine is tourism. Declining tourism brings island struggles and business failures, followed by an exodus of island, island families. Hawaii's leadership voices make better notice because, as Tom Hanks said in Apollo 13, Houston, we have got a problem. Like the challenges of Apollo 13 crew faced, the survival challenges faced by Hawaii will, I don't like it. will require leadership and vision outside the box thinking. Hawaii friends, please choose your leaders and voices wisely. It does make a difference for the best outcome. Phil Winter, Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. Oh, bells, oh, bells. Thank you. I'm inside it. Oh, thank you, Phil, for your uh, voice and input there. Well, gee, um, Hawaii's tourism industry is is what it is because uh, that's the only industry there is left because they took out oops they took out agriculture. No more pineapple. No more sugar cane. And so now it's the only thing left is tourism. Unless they do the movie industry, <laughs> how many times can you watch uh, your favorite TV shows on and that beach? Uh, oh, that's the same beach that was in the other show in the background. Um, you know, I think the thing is not so much the declining Aloha spirit because there has been a lot of tourism and it just floods the place and you're just kind of going, oh, I'm climbing through my backyard and taking poo poo on my lawn. So, uh, this, they, they got to make alternative, um, income industries for Hawaii and they have that astronomy thing. Which is kind of a side note in a sense, but there's money coming in, and they're against it. Um, but Hawaii hates tourists. Oh, we should do to Why elect, are you elect better leaders. I don't know. I think that thing is more systemic because they got rid of agriculture. And now the only thing left is tourism, and they put all their hopes on the tourism industry. They're like watching Japan. Come on over, please. <laughs> I don't know. It's aloha. <laughs> Everyone lives on an island. You have to have aloha spirit, otherwise you're you're stuck on an island. Whatever. So aloha to you. It's Saturday. Have a good Saturday. Aloha. Oh, oh wait a minute. Sorry. Aloha. See the Hawaiians. Oh, oh, we love the aloha spirit. Now aloha spirit to you. Aloha. There it is. Let me see. It's a sunrise. That's right. Yay. Ooh, sunrise. Oh, I love my spirit to you now. Aloha. <laughs>